Fallow deer are the second most widespread deer in New Zealand. They are indigenous to the Mediterranean area but have been introduced to 38 countries around the world. They are a small deer with four distinct colour variations. There's the melanistic, otherwise known as the black or chocolate fallow. There's the common, the menal, which is more of a pale common, and the leucistic, which is otherwise known as white. They prefer to live in large groups, favouring fringe habitat and grasslands such as agricultural area. Fallow present a challenge to bow hunters due to their timid nature and keen senses. While not as destructive as most game species in New Zealand, numbers must be managed to prevent uncontrolled grazing of valuable agricultural land. Here Rachel and I are on Wairangi Station above Triangle Clearing and uh, two spikers came wandering in and just started feeding, probably 150 yards from us. So we just sat down and watched them for a bit. Two good spikers too. But uh, yeah, we'll leave them to settle. There's the bows in the car, <laughs> unfortunately, otherwise I would have had a crack. But yeah, um, it's good to already see deer. So yeah, we'll head back to the cottage and prep for an afternoon hunt. Well, it's Monday afternoon now and Rachel and I got a hot tip on where some deer are coming out. So we're going to go down and set up on them and hopefully get an arrow away. Everywhere we looked, there seemed to be really good mobs of goats. And then there was this really good billy who I couldn't resist putting a stalk on. Well I put in a stalk on a pretty impressive billy, um, unfortunately he was, he was at 39 yards which is a very doable shot for me but it was probably 45 degree angle up and I just wasn't comfortable with that so I had to let him walk to see if I could get another opportunity and I could not so he's still up there you can see him but uh, there's just no way to go from so we're going to carry on see if we can get a deer. Well we um got busted by a doe so we're just gonna head back um, along the road towards the cottage and hope we get lucky somewhere along there and um, we started a sort of a plan to, for tomorrow but yeah for now um, if you don't hear from us there was nothing on the way back morning boys and girls. Uh, Rachel and I are heading off into Scots this morning. Um, yeah, saw so, uh, a group of does on the road on the way in, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, now to uh, start beating the feet. Due to walking too quickly at our own inattention, we bumped this nice wide two-year-old buck at 40 yards and off he went up the hill. Well, uh, we're coming into this first little valley a little bit hot and there's a really nice wide buck standing within stalkable distance easily and he was staring straight at us but um, there's plenty around so now that sort of encouraged us to slow down a bit 
So yeah, we'll see what happens from here. So Rachel and I have done a quick glass and about a K away down there there's a couple of does feeding a clearing so we'll probably head after those. So I'm sitting back here and we've got two walkie talkies. Rachel's putting a stalk in on these deer. Um, we can't see them at the moment, they fed their way into the scrub. So she's just using this opportunity of cover to try and get in on them. So the deer have disappeared over a knob, so Rachel's going to come back, um, we'll grab all the gear and then we'll move in a bit closer where I can get in a better vantage point for you where I can keep vision on them. Well, we lost those does and then uh, spooked another uh, yearling, but um, now we're just sitting down having a break and then we'll make a plan from there on what to do next. Rachel thought she heard something sniffing around on the other side of this rise but when we got up the top and had a look we couldn't find it anywhere. There were plenty of trees around that had been beaten up by bucks. Well, it was 10 to 10 now, um, didn't glass anything worthwhile so we're just going to start working our way back towards the car now and uh, yeah See if we see anything on the way back. Just seen the Arapala sheep, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get a ewe. So they're just behind us over here. I just bust they just busted me coming down here into the trees. But I'm going to go around and follow them and see if they're in a good spot. That wind sucks. They were decided that they're going to climb all the way to the top, and I don't want to climb all the way to the top, so thank you. <laughs> What did I say? I must have insulted her. <laughs> see ya. Well, we're back at the car now. Um, didn't see anything on the way back. Now we'll go back for lunch and a bit of a snooze before the afternoon. So we've spotted two deer from the road. Rachel's going to guide me in. So they're still sitting at the top of that clearing, so they are straight down. She's definitely looking at you today still. The deer blew out, but uh, that was a lot of fun. You can see Rachel coming up in the jeep up there. She it's pretty steep. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, really hard being guided in blind, but it's uh, good to have this stuff. Know where they are, know when they're not there anymore, you know. So yeah, now I've got to 
climb up and meet Rachel at the top. <laughs> Our plan was to use this old tin shed like a blind, but there was already a deer there waiting for us. So Rachel decided to put in a stalk, keeping the tin shed between herself and the deer. Unfortunately the wind was being a bit fickle and she smelt us before we could get a shot. Well, it's been a pretty full on uh, afternoon with deer. Uh, we've had encounters with them everywhere on the road. Um, in our spot where we were planning on setting up, there was already a doe bedded there. So, um, but yeah, now we're going to work our way along this bottom road since the spot we wanted to sit is blind. So we're just going to go along, walk along the road and see if we can spot something. The wind's not too bad, so yeah. Getting dark, not that you can really tell. Um, but we're heading back to the car now and we're going to head back for dinner and make some plans for tomorrow. Um, Missed our opportunity with the doe, and that was the only opportunity we got down here. So, yeah, that's us for today. See you in the morning. We spotted this young doe down the bottom of the triangle, but she was unreachable. But then Rachel spotted two more promising candidates on the other side. So the hard stalk through open country was on. A bit of fog rolled in, which made for some good cover to get across the open ground of the triangle. Of course, once we'd got across the triangle and up on the other side, there was a deer down below us in the triangle. And it seemed like the deer that Rachel was stalking had moved on. Then this young doe appeared out of the scrub, back on the opposite side we had originally come from. But she seemed like she had somewhere really important to be and was not stopping for anything. No luck unfortunately, uh, the rain's come in as you can probably see, uh, but yeah, hell of a stalk, so much fun, that, uh, crossed probably a couple hundred metres of open terrain, then through all the tea tree and stuff to get in close, I think they just moved on, they didn't spook, you know, there was another one down feeding across in the triangle, uh, we didn't catch up with that one either, and then there was a third across the other side of the triangle, came out of the scrub, fed its way up, and then just boosted it up the hill and into the tea tree. Obviously knew this rain was coming. Uh, but yeah, so now we're gonna head back to the cottage, grab my hat, um, and then go somewhere new. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. See what could be crap, could be good. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> 